Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back putting a positive spin on the Child's Play remake. It's the first positive spin of the year, so Jason and I put some thought into which movie we should cover. We wanted a film that is generally hated, but is also a good example of why we do this positive spin series. It didn't take long for us to make our decision. The Child's Play Remake. Funny thing is though, as much as people claim to hate this one, according to IMDb, it's the third highest rated Child's Play movie in the entire franchise. Only the original and Child's Play 2 are rated higher and Child's Play 2 is only rated higher by 0.2 points. That just goes to show you, on a site like IMDb, where a lot of movies are usually rated much lower than they should be, this Child's Play remake has a pretty decent rating. I interpret that as, it can't be that bad. And it's not, either. It's really not. This is not a bad remake. In fact, I think it's one of the better remakes. Now, since it's a new year, I thought it would be a good time to remind everyone why we do this positive spin series. Jason and I were getting tired of all the constant negativity, especially when it comes to movies. To contrast that, we came up with the positive spin series, a series in which Jason and I discuss movies that are typically hated by the masses, and then tell you what we like about them. These are not review videos, and they're not meant for debate or argument of any kind. We just feel it's better to promote films than trash them. As the old saying goes, if you have nothing nice to say, then don't say anything at all. Because these are not review videos, I don't go into a synopsis about any of the films. I just state my positives. Sometimes I do like to mention the things people claim to hate about these movies, though and then give my opinion on the subjects. I'll be doing that for this one, because the reasons people give for hating the Child's Play remake intrigue me. In fact, let's start with that. The silliest, most ridiculous reason of all is the fact that it's called Child's Play. This is another movie like Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, where people say, if it wasn't called Child's Play, I'd probably like it. Well, it is called Child's Play, because it's a Child's Play remake. If a title of a film is the reason why you hate it, then it's a good thing you are not a professional film critic. Never judge a book by its cover, and never judge a movie by its title. Even beyond that point, like I said, it's a remake. Why wouldn't it be called Child's Play? People hate it because they say it's too different from the original. They don't like the fact that Chucky is an AI doll, but this is sort of a reimagining. It's a modern day take on child's play. If the doll and the story were exactly the same, then people would complain that it was too close to the original, like the Psycho remake, for example. What the hell do people want in a remake? Either it's too similar or it's too different. Make up your minds. In my opinion, Child's Play is a good mix of both. It modernizes the story without straying too far from the original. Let me suggest this. If it's really that hard for you to accept this as a remake, for whatever bizarre reason you might have, view it as a companion piece. An alternate Child's Play, if you will. Regardless, and I'm repeating this because it's necessary, it is a remake. A lot of people don't like the look of the doll, again because it's too different, and because they just don't like it in general. Hey, we're all entitled to our own opinions, but again, I feel if the doll looked exactly the same as the original, then people would complain about that too. With that being said, we have the original, and all of the sequels. If you like the look of that doll, then just watch those movies. This remake decided to do something different, and it looks like an AI doll, as it should. 
it wouldn't make sense to have one of the good guy dolls in place of the buddy doll. Just because you prefer the originals doesn't mean you have to hate this one. It seems for some reason some people can't grasp that concept. There are people who don't like Mark Hamill's voice interpretation of Chucky in this remake. I honestly think those people wouldn't be satisfied with anyone other than Brad Dorif. I personally loved Mark Hamill's voice acting in this, and that's a big positive for me. Are we having fun now? I love that he keeps asking that throughout the film. There are people who hate the reason why Chucky is the way he is in this remake. I think it's pretty realistic, considering this is a story about artificial intelligence. This isn't a doll brought to life by voodoo. Which brings me to my next big positive. I like the fact that Chucky is loyal to Andy in this movie. He's not trying to steal his soul. He literally just wants to be his best friend and to play and kills anyone who gets in their way. He's not intent on killing Andy, but those who Andy doesn't like. I like that twist on the story. I like the fact that Andy is older in this one than in the original. He's around 12 years old here, while he was only 6 in the original Child's Play. This adds a new dynamic, especially when he's originally blamed for the murders. To me, with him being older in this remake, it seems more plausible. I love that Aubrey Plaza plays his mom. Talk about a MILF. Seriously though, she's adorable and as sexy as ever in this. I like that Mike the cop has more of a connection to the building in this one, with his mother living in the same apartment building as Andy. The child cast is another positive for me. The movie's called Child's Play, so we get more than one child in this remake. It's always fun seeing kids as the protagonists in horror films. I like the buddy song. It's super catchy. The kills are brutal, and some of them are even satisfying. Going back to Mark Hamill's portrayal as Chucky, he actually makes you feel bad for him. Even though he's just a doll, there is one scene in particular where you genuinely feel bad. At least I did, and I know Jason did as well. He doesn't have evil intentions in this. He's just malfunctioning. He simply wants to be Andy's friend till the end and make him happy. Sometimes he just gets confused on what's right and what's wrong. Some of Chucky's victims in this remake, though, deserve it. Like I said, there are a couple of satisfying kills. I love, love, love the department store setting. Fun fact, this movie was filmed at the same department store as Jumanji. I love how the people are in the department store waiting for the release of the next wave of buddy dolls, and it's cool to see all of the different models. I especially like the buddy bear. He's pretty awesome. I think that's realistic. It's like people waiting in line on the release day of new video games and new sneakers and whatever else. Or even just people shopping for deals on Black Friday. It's realistic, and that's a positive. When Chucky connects to all of the other buddy dolls and electronics in the climax of the film, that's another huge positive. I know there are people who hate that, but I don't get it. I think it's awesome. Chucky's capabilities are established early on in the film. He can connect to TVs and radios and whatever else electronically. So why wouldn't he connect to and control all of the other dolls in the department store? If he didn't, that would have been a wasted opportunity. That ability of this buddy doll escalates the threat. Again, I don't see why people don't like that. The movie is funny at times, and it's very suspenseful at times. I don't want to spoil the specifics, so I'll just say the scene with the wrapping paper is extremely suspenseful. The scene leading up to that is also really creepy. The movie takes place just after Christmas and features one of the characters taking down Christmas lights. That made this Child's Play remake even more fitting for this first positive spin of the year.
It was good timing to do this one, we thought. This remake is engaging, and it flies by. Not only is it fast-paced, but it's entertaining, and that's the biggest positive of all. I sort of question how big of a horror fan someone can be if they watch this Child's Play remake and are not entertained. Objectively, you cannot say this is boring, by any stretch of the word. Playtime is fun, and that's exactly what Child's Play is. But you don't have to agree. This is just my positive spin. Be sure to check out Jason's as well. To which hated movie will we next give a positive spin? Check back soon to find out. Until then, what are your thoughts on the Child's Play remake? Do you like it or do you hate it? Comment below and let me know why. Are we having fun now? I am, and I know Jason is too. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind, subscribe.